Hi, this is John with One Lens 2, and today I'd like to show you the Space Shuttle Endeavor. You remember the Space Shuttle, don't you? The partially reusable space vehicle that carried people and cargo to Earth orbit between 1981 and 2011? Yeah, that Space Shuttle. After it was taken out of service, Endeavor was moved to the California Science Center in South Los Angeles. The California Science Center has a number of different exhibits, including an air and space exhibit that covers aircraft, spacecraft, and space probes. They have lots of interesting things on display, but my hands down favorite was the Space Shuttle Endeavor, located in the Samuel Oshin Pavilion. In the first section of the exhibit, you can learn about the various components of the shuttle launch and landing systems and what it was like to be in space. These are the actual tires that were scuffed up when Endeavour landed for the last time on the runway at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. All of this sets you up for the amazing sight of the actual Space Shuttle Endeavour. Seeing a real Space Shuttle right in front of you can be a surprisingly awe-inspiring experience especially if you love science and technology and were around when the space shuttles were the coolest thing on and off the Earth. Endeavour was one of the last shuttles built and it was in service between 1992 and 2011. Endeavour was pretty much left as it was after its final mission in space in May of 2011. This is not a cleaned and polished version of spaceflight. As you walk around and under it, you can see all the wear, stains, and damage that Endeavour withstood to get into and out of space. And if you have a super zoom camera like my Nikon Coolpix P1000, you can see practically every square centimeter of the spacecraft. The mounts on the orbiter body that were used to attach it to the external tank are now used to anchor it to the ground. And, fun fact, since this is California, it sits on three massive rubber bushings, like this one, to absorb the energy of an earthquake. Here's one of the shuttle's main engines on display. Not many people know this, but every once in a while, late at night when all the visitors are gone, the Science Center fires up the Space Shuttle's engines. Wait, that's not actually true. I may have made that up entirely. The Science Center even has an external tank, which is so big you really can't see it out this window. But that's okay for now, because the external tank will be inside when the California Science Center builds a new home for Endeavour, as seen in this model. And when they build it, I'll be back. Well, there you have it. A real space shuttle that traveled almost 123 million miles in space on display so close you could almost touch it. Amazing.